<coughs> okay, hello there my fellow YouTubers. This is under Pavel 4 and I'm going to show you how to make a simple me uh, video player in Microsoft Visual Basic 2010 without using the Windows Media Player OCX control uh, no, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna, first we're gonna start off by opening I mean making a new project and make sure it's a Windows form application and call it video video player test video player test okay and the first thing we're going to want to do is make the box you know the form a little decent size and change the text to it so instead of calling it form we're going to call it video player video player like so looks good so far so good. Next thing we're going to want to do is add two buttons and a text text box. So one, two. You got your play play pause button right here. And you got your open button right here. And then the text box. Which we're going to put right here. And you're going to need dialog. Open dialog right here. Okay. And to save on some time, we're going to name the open dialog too. Which you can do that by clicking open dialog and name. We're going to call it CD1. And I pick CD1 because that stands for common dialog. Common dialog one. And we're going to need this right here. Which I'm going to show you how to put that there because a lot of you don't have that uh, on this box. You don't have to download any. You already have it. You just don't have it in the toolbox. But anyway, right click anywhere on this white you know, thing on your toolbox. Go down to choose items. And then go over to com components. Scroll all the way down until you get to the M's. And it should be on Microsoft. There we go. Keep scrolling until you see vid control. MS TV video right there. And you're just going to look like this. You just make sure it's checked like that. And then hit OK. And I know this screen right here takes a minute for a lot of people to load up. If you're a good coder, then you should you would know that it takes a minute to load up. But if you're just starting out, which this is a great starting out video. And it's going to take a minute, and I'm letting you know that now, so don't be afraid. And we hit OK, and you'll see it there. And then add it there. OK, and make it right there. I love 2010 because it aligns it up, and it makes it look so neat. See, see those little line, little blue lines right there? It's so cool. OK, we got that settled. Yeah, let's make it a little bit wider. I mean, a little bit taller. Right there, that works. Click on button one. And we're going to change the text to play. <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that. Okay. And then we're going to change the text to button two to open. And this is where all the magic happens. I'm just playing. Double click on the open, you should see a box, white box come up. We throw on some code. I want you to type in with space CD1 and then enter. And it should have already added the end with. If it didn't, just go ahead and put that in there. And but between the two, with and end with, I want you to type in dot filter equals quotation marks and inside of it put a b i align straight down with a star which is shift eight and then put a v i again a v i in lowercase a v i not a i v and then spell space I mean put another star I mean that star put another line down and put say mp4 MP4 line down star 
and P4. <coughs> now, MP4. <coughs> Ooh, sorry about that. MP4s aren't going to work for everybody because um, I have Kodaks, and if you, um, I'll leave a link in the description for Kodaks if you don't have any, and they're free. But it allows me to play MP4s if you know. That's why I'm just adding them there because I got a bunch of MP4 videos that I'm going to test with. But anyway, I got that all said and done. And um, underneath that, I want you to put dot show dialog and then enter and then put text box one dot text equals dot file name and underneath that put ooh forgot one thing. Click on this black box right here and change the name. Put TCL, really long name, AXMS Vid Control 1. Now, just put Video 1. There. And then go back to this and put Video E Video 1 dot view text box 1 dot text. There. <coughs> you should have added those bowls right there. You know, half bowl there, half bowl there. Um, what that's telling it to do is basically what to look for and load it up. Go ahead and load it up. And but it's not going to do anything. You know, basically like the Windows Media Player down Windows Media Player control. You know how you put URL equals and it does the loading up and then it plays the video. This does all that without playing it. <coughs> so that's just going to load it up. Get us prepped for it. You know, all that stuff. And then double click on this play button. And we're going to type in video one dot run. And that's your, you know, that's your play. And let's test it out. Open. Do, 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 do. MP4. Boosh. Let's go with my favorite one, Steve Jobs. Versus the Gates. Okay. And I, I'm not going to get sucked into that video. <laughs> but anyway, it worked. You, we saw it, it worked. Um, it plays really good. Now I'm going to turn this play button into a play slash pause. So what we're going to do is over the video one we're gonna, on top of it, we're going to type in F um, button one dot text equals play then video one dot run and put else underneath that else underneath the video one dot run and it kind of runs type in F button one dot text equals <coughs> pause and video one dot pause and put the second in if for the else okay so you should have if oh wait oh, I forgot something button one no, 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 no. B U T T button one dot text equals pause. Okay. Make sure that pause and that pause is spelled the exact same to the capitalization everything. Button one dot text equals play. And make sure that that play and that play match up, you know, just like the pause pause. Okay, that way it knows when to change, you know, when it's actually playing and stuff. And click open. We're gonna pick a different epic rap battles. Marilyn Monroe. And hit play. 
So you said pause, and then it's pause. And then it's pause. See? It's really cool. You know, Cleet Pressure is looking pretty sexy right there. Mm -hmm. No, but um, that's it's that simple. Now I haven't figured out how to make um a what do you call it a slider? Um, a slider. I don't know what you call it inside a, a, a the actual media player. But the slider allows you to choose the duration. I mean, choose the point of the video that you're watching. I haven't figured that one out yet. Not with this dialog, anyways. There's another one, but you have to pay for it. And it's actually quite expensive, but I figured it out with that. But this one I haven't. And this one's free. And it's just simple play pause. And you can also do MP3s. Let me do MP3s real quick. And MP3. Door. Star. And P3. Okay. And let me show you how it works on an MP3. Music. I just made a new slim and mix. And if I four. Ooh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Not mix forty eight. No, I mean forty. Mix forty eight, there we go. Hmm. I'm starting. I don't know if y'all heard it, but I did. There it goes. I don't know if she... Okay, that's just the Nicki Minaj song. It's it's a song I mixed earlier. You gotta get more into it to hear the mix portion. But anyway, um, that's my video, and I hope y'all, um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope it was very helpful. If y'all learn, if y'all know anything that I didn't show in this tutorial, I showed you everything I know. Um, please feel free to let me know in the in comments. You know like a slider, well, very much appreciative, um, slider code, um, a volume, which, um, I had a volume code, but it was actually to turn the volume to the system down, and not volume to the actual player, so that necessarily didn't help, so, what it didn't just turn down the volume to the media, it turned volume down to everything, so I need to say that didn't help too well, but, you know, like I said, I'm always open to suggestions. Um, if you have any problems with what I have here, um, feel free to leave a comment saying you had a problem. If you like the video, thumbs it up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs it down. I don't care. If, you, if it didn't help you at all, and it just, which I don't believe it, but if it didn't, you know, you have your opinion, and you can thumbs it down if you want. I prefer if you didn't, but if you did, I ain't going to hold you to it. Um, I will leave a link in the description for Kodaks, so you can play MP4s using this player. I'm going to leave a link, I mean not a link in the description, I'm going to leave this code in the description for those of you who are lazy. And the only reason I say that is because I'm lazy too. I'd rather just copy from the description. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you later. And uh, enjoy, let me know if I should make more Visual Basics videos. Because, um, I've been wanting to, you know, and I stopped for a while, and I updated to 2010. Um, see you later.